Oh, shit. My bad, bro. <laughs> now we're good. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> <laughs> we are good. Okay. Wait, let me clip this. <laughs> yeah. Where would you like you to You guys go? missed it. I crit on a fake roll. <laughs> <laughs> on a fake roll. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Where are we going, Francisco? Are we just grabbing a boat or... Yeah, let's or... see. Uh, let's see which what boat's available to take us. Does the note say a specific boat? Does the note say a specific boat? Um, the note was just to get through the gate. Or does it just say, like, free passage? Yeah, it's pretty much a note saying, uh, get these guys the fuck out of here. That's pretty much exactly what it says. <laughs> so, I, I guess we're looking for the friendliest boat? Yeah. Or, or, um, or the boat that would most leave us alone? I'm looking Maybe? for a boat that, boat that has less drow or no drow. Gonna have to I'm go. gonna look for the friendliest boat. <laughs> okay. um, so while you guys get through the last gates and start heading sure. your way towards the lovely, not really a, it's kind of a port, but it's not like a, a you can't get massive ships like uh, the Albear's Revenge in here, but you can still get like ships like small merchant ships will come through um, as you guys get through far off down the uh, end you'll see there is like a massive tunnel big enough for like a small good ship to go through even with uh, like a single mast or whatnot um from there on you really have no idea but as you do get down and work your way through um you will notice that there's like a couple little um kind of like canoes and a couple like small rowboats that are there uh with there's only like maybe a half dozen drow here uh left um but there is one semi-good merchant ship left, and I'll show you a picture. Hmm. Ooh, the dock. Looks to be like a little, just a small little cargo. You wouldn't be able to get a lot on there. Um, it'll probably um, maybe like five or six people max to use it. Um, and you probably carry like maybe another ten people cramped. A little bit of cargo. That's about it. It is such a pretty place for such dick people. <laughs> yep. So unfair. Yeah. Um, no name on the boat, um, but it does look like it is a drow houseboat, uh, and you'd see the uh, most of the the coloring scheme and whatnot. All the symbols on it are house painter. Right? Uh, I would say that that right there will be our uh, best bet. Okay. I trust you. Um, but before we get on the boat, should we, um, should maybe Tooth use the stone and let them know we're coming or, or wait until we get there? Yeah, we'll, we'll, let's make sure we can get on the boat first okay. and then we'll send a message. Okay. I'll give Francisco guidance. <laughs> Um, also, while you guys are walking up, um, and you get to the boat itself, um, you're going to see a familiar face with a massive deep rothy already on the boat. Wedge hmm. is there. Ah. He's just going to be sitting in a chair, minding his own business, and he's going to just look up and go, holy crap, finally, what the hell? No, we're supposed to be in a hurry. Where the hell have you guys been? Taking your sweet ass time getting here. We got attacked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Welcome to Axiom Zobarin. Goodbye uh, to Axiom Zobarin. That's yes. True. Anyway, um, Tooth. I'm gonna since you played Tooth, you can you can role play Tooth too. So I'm not talking to myself. Oh, Sir God, tooth. I hate that song. Okay. It's your own fault. <laughs> <laughs> Should have done Benjamin. He's so quiet. He's gonna uh, walk up to the Rothy. Um, you can tell it's the same one Tooth talked to. Okay. Um, the older one. Uh, this one doesn't really. Uh, he's old enough. He's got a couple of year, good years left in him. Since you talked to him, he's been a little different. Um, 
a couple of us can talk to him, but we never really have. But after you did, a couple of us uh, wanted to know what you asked him. Apparently, uh, he bonded with you and would like to come. He wants to see this sunrise you talked about. Okay. He hasn't used it today, so he'll cast pass. Um, not pass without a trace. Uh, speak with animals. Okay. Yeah, he's got a um, a magic weapon that'll let him do it like yeah. three or four times. He can do that at will. Yep. Um. Uh, so it's like ten charges or yeah. three charges for uh, something like that. Yeah, I can't remember. Uh, hey, do you you, you want to go with hey. me to the surface? Yeah. Um. You seem nice. I want to, um, I don't know. Just something different. Maybe I'd join your herd. Uh, yeah, that, I mean, that's fine by me, but just so you know, it's dangerous up there. There's a lot of things coming through, and well, it I could get dangerous. I share of spiders here. I should be okay. Yeah, okay, works for me. Hmm. This is kind of a whole herd, though, for for now. That's okay. So All I have, right. I've sired lots, so my line oh, is okay. be here for a while. Uh, I guess Tooth just looks back at us, and Sabrina's like, what is he saying? <laughs> um, you'll also I want to know. <laughs> you also notice that uh, Wedge has put, um, he's covered, like, the, the Rafi's eyes a little bit, just to get used to the sun. <laughs> It's going to take him a while, so he's pretty much going to have um, uh, his version of uh, sunglasses. Sunglasses, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like pretty much just goggles. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they are um, uh, Tooth will adjust his own goggles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and, oddly enough, um, I had someone else uh, drop these off for you. Um and he's gonna hold up a set of um looks like deep rothy hide armor uh wedge is just gonna look at him and go uh bears are kind of boring maybe try this one on i don't know enough about his backstory to know if he'd be offended by that but he will probably uh, take the gift anyways yeah, yeah he'd be quite offended the uh uh, the bear was a um, something of importance, but uh, it'll be a decision for him whether or not he takes the yes. uh, armor off. <laughs> I I'd say he takes the armor, but it yes. would not put it on right away. Yeah. yeah. Um, I will stick it in his inventory for him, though. So it's basically deep rothy hide armor. It's a plus three hide armor. Well, oh, yeah. And um, he's gonna uh, walk up to uh, Wedge this time, is actually gonna walk up and go, <sighs> In my day, I wasn't always a guard for farmers, I was a true guard. I'm a little too old to use this. Uh, looks to be about your size. Uh, it was given to me as a gift. I'm going to gift it to you. I've been told you're uh, going to go try and kill someone who's probably unkillable. So you might need all the help you can get. Um, so what he's going to hand Tooth is basically the claw of a Cuthric. Mm. That is a scythe. Mm. So it's like pretty tall. Uh, it's going to give him 10 foot reach. Um, so think of it as the Cuthric basically granted Wedge his actual arm. So it's basically a bone handle with the Cuthric claw. So this thing for him, I'll stick it in his inventory. Um, I forgot, but Tooth wouldn't have. Can yep. he, could he have collected his two javelins? Oh yeah, I, I assumed. Okay. Well, while Francisco okay was doing that. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. Thanks, sorry. I just remembered. So it is called the Claw of Xerxes. Uh, the uh, Cuthric was named Xerxes. Uh, so he basically has a plus two uh, bonus to attack and damage. Um, 
And yeah, it will also. Damn, she's getting tricked out. What did he bribe you with? I want it. <laughs> this is for giving him a legendary. You guys had to get a little bit more <laughs> to make up for talents. Yay. Um, <laughs> to make up for talents. <laughs> yeah. It is a weird, like, AI hey, have a legendary. <laughs> it's sad seeing everyone else get a gift. Like, you already got a gift. I can't give you more. Mm, that's... I even wrote I got that. nothing permanent can more trip. for Talos. <laughs> In my notes, I said no more for fucking Talos. <laughs> so AC plus DC plus the yes. Yes. <laughs> plus uh, yes. For some reason, it's not showing it in his abilities, but um, where is it here? This is the weapons nerd to me coming out, but <laughs> I know. Uh, um, scythes. Yeah. Awful weapons. War scythes. Amazing weapons. So this is also going to give because it's from a Cuthric, um uh, Tooth is going to have Tremor Sense. Because they have it too. Mm. Yeah. That would have helped in the fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very much. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So from there, um, Wedge is just going to look at everybody and go, Luck, I got work to do. And then sprint off. Hi! <laughs> Have fun. Um, you will also see about three or four more drow that are just meandering around getting the boat ready to go. Um, on the top deck, you're going to see a fairly old, like, this, this drow is quite old. Um, not feeble, but you can tell he's past his um, any age other than rowing a boat. Well, steering mm. a boat. Uh, he's just going to look at you and go, I take it you're my cargo. I try to say yeah. hello in Undercommon. I don't know if it's successful. That is a horrendous accent, but I appreciate you trying. Working on it! Uh, I'm Captain Vic. I'm here to get you out. Um, you guys can clean up after that. I usually don't do livestock. <laughs> we have, s s like, eight bats and a yeah. big-ass, like, cow. Yep. <laughs> Don't do livestock. Mm. <laughs> Oopsie, picked the wrong group, sir. <laughs> yep. That that won't be a problem, Captain. Uh, so, my ship's a little too big to take some of the tunnels. Where are you trying to get to? Just anywhere up to the surface should be fine. I guess whatever's closest to the planes, right? Because that's where yeah, we whatever, left them. Whatever's closest to the planes, or if I guess if we have to, uh, Port Mead. Mm, Port Mead, huh? Well, I could do Port Mead, but I wouldn't be able to get those. Uh, I'd have to switch you guys over to some of these skiffs. Then I'd have to take. I'd have to put a couple skiffs on. Um, I can get you close. Um, yeah. Let me see here. Where would I? Just what? What? Whatever's easiest for you, Captain. I'll stick you in the Lake Mead. I got a little small in. Yeah, Lake Mead will work. If that works for you guys. That'll get you close to Port Mead. Yeah. Okay. Um, we got a couple smuggler areas there. I can drop you off. Uh, might be a little bit of a walk, but I'll get you there. Take about a day. In anywhere you can drop us off, uh, that might be no material controlled. Ah. Well, if you didn't have uh, that big guy with you, I could get you right up close. But this thing doesn't fit through the sewers. Okay. But the is he talking about our, our new cow? Yeah. Um, how long would you need it to not be on the boat for? Well, I don't think uh, he'd fit on, and he's going to point to like a, a little canoe that fits three people. Yeah. How long would you need him to not be on the boat for? Ah, a couple hours. 
it's fairly deep. I don't know if he could swim part of it. And he'd probably fit through part of the sewer system. Might be a little bit of a challenge and he'd stink. Because he'd have to wade through it all. He wouldn't be able to walk on the sides like you guys could. Yeah, I can only leave him in for ten minutes. Uh, that doesn't work. Sorry. Try. I tried. I'll get you close. We'll, okay. we'll hit the Thanks. lake mead. Then you're only a couple hour. Well, from where I am, you're still a good half day to get there. But We can make our way from there. We'll get you there. Do you I'm not coming back need? anyway. I've been told this place is being flooded, so this is a one-way trip for me, so thank you very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you want, want or need an extra hand on deck? I think not. Francisco knows boats! That's okay. Um, I don't okay. think my crew would uh, be too happy right now. They, uh, they weren't volunteers, we'll say that. Understandable. Just figured I'd make the offer. Yep. All right. Well, stow your gear. Um, there's a little bit. Uh, you can have my cabin for now because I'm going to be up here for a while. I butcher a thank you in Undercommon. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to wince. <laughs> she <just laughs> nod and point to his cabin. Uh, as you guys get through into his cabin, uh, you'll see the deep broth. Uh, he's pretty much um, just going to sit and not know what to do. This is his first time on a boat. Tooth is going <laughs> to stay with him. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, they will be talking. Um, yeah, Prax is pretty much uh, just going to be sitting there and trying not to laugh at everybody. Sure. <laughs> Doing a fair poor piss job. Uh, Ben's pretty much just going to... Uh, what would Ben do? Hmm. Probably come inside with you guys. I was thinking, like, start climbing the, uh, <laughs> to go up top. Mm. Seems like a Ben thing, but you have, uh, bats to play with. Bats are priority. Hey, Francisco, how long of a, of a ride do you think this is going to be? No, well, he just said about half a day. A day Definitely. to get uh, to where you are, and then another half day walk back into Port Mead, yeah. where he can drop you off. So he'll probably so a so day I, to okay. Yeah, yeah. So you're looking at about a day and a half, but a day uh, till you get topside, which is good because you're on day three right now, mm -hmm. um, and you know that he is uh, going to be draining part of Lake Mead on day five. So mm -hmm. you're going to be getting there just before that happens two um, you need to tell them that we're gonna be coming up oh yeah outside. okay I got it uh hello we're, we're coming up in a day day and a half to Lake Mead I think that's it please don't Drain it while we're coming. Thanks. Uh, How close did I get, Talos? <laughs> I got like 24. Ooh, all right. Um, you reply. Hi. <laughs> you would know, uh, Tooth would know that he was talking to Dora. Yes. Okay. Um, the response. But is, she was with them last we left her. Yes. Um, uh, the reply is pretty much going to be, oh, good, you got through. Oh, good. Um, the last person I talked to was quite scary. I didn't like her. Um, you're still alive, all of you? I hope you're all alive. <laughs> and I cannot respond because it only works once a day. <laughs> yep. I can, I can turn to sending spell. Do you want me to send a response? Yours was the uh... scroll? Hmm? Yours was the scroll? That I have uh, I, I know the spell. Okay, perfect. I couldn't remember. I know I gave you a scroll of scrying and a scroll <laughs> you of also You also gave scroll of scroll. Uh, yeah. Okay, so you... Alright, that'll work. Beautiful. Uh, should, should I send a response? Up to you. Um, I don't know. Do we have any more to tell them? 
I, I mean, yeah. they'll find out we're alive in a day and a half or so, right? But if you yeah. want to tell them, that's, that's, I mean, might be nice. Talos, and he's going to motion you over. He goes, tell them we're all alive, but tell them to ask that bitch about blood packs. Ask Abigail about blood packs? Yeah, I couldn't remember her name. <laughs> if Francisco doesn't, then then Sabrin will, will <clears throat> fill in for Abigail. I believe that is the witch's name, yes. Yeah, Abigail Arcane. Okay, yes. The hag. Alex, hus- Alex wife. Yep. Yeah. Blood packs for when we get back. We're all fine, but please look into blood packs. <laughs> In which case, I will send another message to Dora. Yep. Just like to warm her, has to hold. Hello. Hello, sir. We are all alive. Francisco would like to know about blood packs when we get up. You don't have to finish it. Uh, count these for me. Oh, God. Okay. Talos. Whoa, man. Cool. Blood pack. And, uh, <laughs> she's laughing. Yeah. <laughs> Glad you're safe. I have news for you. Sanctuary. How many do I have left? Oh, okay. Sorry. You have five, like, five, uh, five left. Sorry. Uh, I think I, you have ten left, because it's twenty-five. Yeah, I, 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 so you have, you have I, ten, I, ten left. left. Okay. Yeah. So Sanctuary has... I Sanctuary left me word for you. Hope you guys stay safe. I'm not sure whether you might cut, like cut off like the last few words. That's okay. I I, I, I think. No, I got so. it. It was it was twenty five. Yeah. Right. And mark off. Oh, sorry. Do I have any more mm-hmm. third level spells? Yeah. The day. Okay. <clears throat> Ben's got a lot of spells. I only used one. <laughs> Since we've got a uh, long journey ahead of us. Sabrin, um, I, I'm thinking of the books you recently received. I'm also quite intrigued by them. I know you're still learning under common. I have a spell that would allow me to read it. I'm intrigued to read them myself as well. Would it help if I was to read it aloud in common and you can try and piece it together? Um, Brandon, are these books magical in any way that would imply I need to be the one reading them? No, they're basically textbooks. Okay. Yep, but they're just all in Undercommon. Um, okay. It's like, uh, Googled, yeah, I mean, I'm like Google Translate them into English. Yeah. That works for me. I'm really interested in what they learn, but I probably will hate most of it. Maybe it'll soften the blow if it's in common. I don't know, though. Probably not. I was more thinking that it would help you learn the language if you can know what it says in common and then translate it to I can match the words, book. yeah. Hmm. Yeah, right, yeah me. I have my book here. Okay, I can do some virtual casting of compared languages, some direct casting. Okay. Just like I have full first level spells. Just burn it all. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'll pull out the books. Whatever, whatever <laughs> one Talos seems interested in first is fine. I, I, you have one you'd hand me. I'll let you make the decision. Well, I can't read the covers. <laughs> <laughs> I'll read the covers out to you, and then we'll start. Okay, thanks. There. <laughs> there we go. What are our options, Brandon? Uh, give me one sec here. I didn't actually. Have time to make a list of all the books, but I will. Ah, 
We can just say we start reading one for now. Mathematics. I skipped that one. <laughs> you, you, you can't keep skipping them. This is the one you skipped. How to kill They're your brother. All math. <laughs> I read that one. <laughs> Uh, how 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 to cause a DM to stall? Ask for the name of anything. Yeah. Um, so everyone poisons, including you. <laughs> Wild magic, a guy. Uh, the first... Oh, that'd be useful. Yeah, the first. Oh, sorry, no. Uh, Problems, misread, misread. The first one you're gonna read is. Um... A guide to Axiom Clerical Magic and how to contact the deity by Arch Tilneth Bainray. Bain cool. So it's basically a guide. Uh, it's basically their, we'll say, Bible of how to contact Axiom. Who's their god? Yes. Okay. That's who the, most of the drow follow is uh, Axiom, hence why they call it Axiom Zobarian. Sure. Yeah. Well, we start reading that one. I, I try and piece together the undercommon with the common yeah. that um, Talos is reading. It'll is give reading. you a brief history of how the drow um, society went from Lolf to Axiom and how Axiom took over as their deity. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. I assume that takes us, like, a good portion it's, of the afternoon, if yeah, not more. Yeah, this is a big book. Okay. Yeah. Like, this is... Uh, be, like, every so often, be like... Than, this would be more than a 48-hour read. Okay. Yeah. I don't know so often, like, we get something interesting. I will also call out, uh, Francesco, like, did you know that? This is such, like, which was your ancestor by yeah. <laughs> oh, great, 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 yeah. great. Yeah, Francesco's pro probably gonna glare at you. <laughs> but every you do that, like, like, at least three times. Yeah. It'll, uh, you'll get a, a little bit of an insert on um, how Lilith and her uh, line came to be of Cuthric Mancers. Um, how uh -huh. that axiom helped um, some of the higher arch priests in um, uh, of the drow back then uh, unlock a um, almost like a bloodline or more of a blood curse uh, that helped them transform a drow into a cuthric. That's interesting information. Yeah. So instead of a drow. Um. Can I uh, make a, um, a a check to see how the translating from under common into common is, is working through this process with Talos? Um, yep, give me just a straight um, intelligence or, or uh, yeah, let's just do a straight intelligence. God damn it, my arcana's so good! <laughs> But this well, doesn't. Yeah, this no, isn't arcana. Yeah, it's, it's not arcana. It's not arcana. Just... So just a straight intelligence. Intelligence. With okay. Your modifier. Yeah. Well, yes, I would be adding my intelligence modifier. Yeah. Ooh, I can't roll that ones. Okay. 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 Nice. Uh, nineteen. Okay. Yeah, you're doing. You're piecing it together. Still going pretty well. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, instead of like every tenth uh, word you're hitting or hearing, like maybe every fourth or fifth this time. Okay, perfect. Yep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, what else would you guys like to do? You're pretty much going to be left <clears throat> to your own devices unless the captain needs something or you're in someone's way. Well, they don't um, want, oh, they don't okay. want any help, help on the thing, so really, yeah. Francisco's going to kind of, kind of, kind of just sit, sit off staring out of, stare, uh, staring out of the porthole. Okay. Um, do you have dark vision? 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, Pretty who, sure I should. If anyone doesn't have dark vision, you're in a tunnel now, and all you're going to see is a little bit of lantern light. Uh, I don't, but I will just throw up my dancing okay. lights. That'll work. Um, yeah. So, is there anything... I don't think Talos does either. Uh, Talos... I don't, but I don't have any light spells. Talos has... So. No, no, I, I, I do. Since we're doing this yeah. together, the dancing lights will work for you, too. Mm -hmm. Talos does have dark vision. I do? Sorry, uh, Tooth has, uh, dark vision. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that makes more sense. Yeah. I've got dark vision. Um, besides reading with Talos and that going pretty well, um... <clears throat> I just try to uh, feed and bond with my bats. Okay. That's all I'm doing. Okay. Still try to get them to learn their names. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> and get Nibbles to stop biting me when I hand him food. Yeah. It's not going well. Francisco's <laughs> uh, gonna be a little sitting off dejected. Okay. <laughs> Just wasn't too sure if you guys wanted to RP for a bit. Because that's pretty much yep. up to you guys now. Yeah. Well, I do have a song for Francisco as we trail off through the night. So. Uh, oh. Tooth, before that happens, do you have any, any more of that jerky or anything? I'm out of rations. I gave them all to the bats. Now I need more rations <laughs> for the bats. I see if Tooth can give me some rations. Uh, let's see what Tooth's got here. Yeah, let's look. I would assume he's got a little bit of jerky left. Um, you would also he has you would also notice seven... on, ahead, the, yeah. on the on uh, the wedge would have left you enough stuff for the uh, rothy to eat. Um, okay. And he uh, even in your chest that you had there was a, like uh, food stuffs and whatnot, uh, and Tooth would have dropped you off. And the ship itself has enough to last them for a bit. So there is lots of food on here. You just gotta search kind of for it. Okay. Yep. I'll take some of Tooth's ration, maybe like a day of rations or something. Okay. And see if the bats will eat it. <laughs> okay. And I promise them that I will get them better berries and stuff when we get up top. And that they can stretch their okay. little bat wings. I don't think it's still good, but I think I still have a good berry from... You'd still have quite a few good berries. Uh, even uh, uh, Benjamin's got three. I had one, but I fed it to a bat. Okay. <laughs> I have one. Yeah, and that would have fed the bat for this day. Yeah, yeah. Them. Yeah. Yeah, so there is lots of stuff to feed them because they're not that big. Okay, big. good. They're not big right. yet. <laughs> um, and through your bracelet, because it been, it's been past mm -hmm. an hour, um, you will feel like you'll sense exactly where they are. And after like 24 hours of wearing the bracelet and getting to know them, um, you'd be able to not communicate with them. Uh, but you'd be able to send like a mental do this, do this, don't do that, be here. Just simple Yay. commands like that. Yeah. Working on it yeah. immediately. Number one priority. <laughs> yeah. Bats. That's pretty much what all. Start like sort of an obstacle course for them. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, ben is pretty much going to be doing the same, looking at bats and probably grab a book or two because um, none of you need sleep. <laughs> yeah. Except Francisco, who's going to sing us a song. And two. Yep. Yeah, Fran Francisco, Francisco will be sleeping. In the draft. I think Tooth probably doesn't sleep in the room with us. I think he stays with the uh, Rothy. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So kind of like, can we treat it like we've had a long rest? Uh, well, let's, we... hear, let's hear Francisco's song first. We've at least had a short rest. Yeah. You can sing now. I'll let you. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I don't write songs. Let's see if you can name the movie, I guess. <laughs> oh. I know the sound of each rock and stone. I embrace what others fear. You are not to roam in this forgotten place. Just the likes of me are welcome here. 
everything breathe and i know each breath for me it means life for others it's death it's perfectly balanced and perfectly planned more than enough for this man like every tree stands on its own reaching through the skies i stand alone i share my world with no one else all by myself i stand alone there's francisco's song Yay! You take inspiration for that and a performance role Sabrina so claps either way. <laughs> and what sucks is I'm still on disadvantages for performances. <laughs> oh. But you got inspiration in case you need it. Ooh, but I still wrote I rolled a 19 and a 15. Ooh, okay. So and that that is a plus nine 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 performance. No, plus seven. That's so cool. twenty-two. Nice. Oh, you remove the vault. That's not, that's not great. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, I do not know what movie that is from, but I did yeah. Google it. It's called Quest for Camelot, apparently. Yep. I've never seen it, but... It's good. It, it's, it's a good movie. It's, it's an old animated it's movie, right? Old. Yeah. <laughs> very yeah. old, but quite good. Okay. Yeah, it, it, it's got great songs, too. <laughs> <laughs> you get a chance to watch it. it you'll you'll giggle. <laughs> So, uh, did you guys want to do anything, or are you just going to wait it out and see what happens? No, we're just reading and waiting it out, I think. No. Unless there's Effort. anything else Talos wanted to do. Yeah, the main, th main thought on Francisco's mind is going to death. He, mm -hmm. he, he, he's certainly going to keep his uh, swords out of their sheath okay. and very, very at hand, but he's going to go sleep okay. in a corner. Okay. Um, I might also, can I also take a bit of advantage to get a long rest? So it's... Yep. Yeah, that'll work. Nice, because like I'm out of big spell slots. Yeah. We recharge, yes. yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, like even you guys aren't really doing anything, so it's still going to be, you're going to be able to take a long rest before night. Because <laughs> you guys sure. get at like yeah. 9 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but we're already so tired. But you're already so tired. Francisco's been hung over since he woke up. He's yep. he's wanting to go back to bed. Yep. Okay. Um. So yeah, you, taking your long rest, uh, you can you're gonna have another one overnight anyway. So that is fine. Um. Because you're really not gonna be doing anything except enjoying the um, the rock of the boat, even though it's not that big. Um. So you're gonna be in like basically a massive cave system that has been tunneled out by the Cuthric. Um, so it's not pretty, but it's functional. Um, you're going to still hear lots of sounds of like other bats and critters and anything. You're not going to see too much because it's dark in here. Um, unless you do have dark vision, but even then it's more shadowy. There's not a lot of light, so it's just a lot of gray for you. Uh, you'd still be able to see where you're going. Um, there is lots of weird, uh, like, you will hear fish in the water, like, so it is still a working area. Um, but yeah, uh, this, it's quite windy. It's not like a straight path. Um, you're going to be going through a lot of different channels. Um, you're not going to be going fast. <laughs> this is not a fast boat. <laughs> this is very, this is slow. <laughs> because of the amount of navigating stuff they have to do. Um, so yeah, like you're going probably a little quicker. You're going like if someone's jogging beside you, they'd keep up. That's pretty much how slow you're going through. Like if someone was in a rowboat or a canoe, they probably might pass you just because of the size of the boat. Sure. That's, that's why it's going to take a while. <laughs> Um, yeah, you're not going to see any other things coming in or out, uh, through the night, um, while you guys were sleeping the night before, most of that happened then. 
Um, while you guys even were fighting, you'd notice that they didn't really strip the town a lot. They grabbed what was important and food-wise. So like, sure. there would have been like clothing left, anything they didn't deem worthy. Um, while you guys are going through the town, it's sadly going to be abandoned, but that's what happens. And one day, if you guys feel like getting water breathing, you can loot the fucking town. <laughs> gonna I mean, <laughs> it's going to be underwater. If there was ever a reason to go back, <laughs> that would be it. Yeah. Technically, half of us don't need water breathing. Nope. We don't have to breathe. Nope. <laughs> it's just an inconvenience. So, yeah. Um, well, I love when breathing is optional. <laughs> right. That's true. Alright, um, are you going to um, talk to the captain at all, or uh, lock his door? I mean, while we're, while, yeah, while we're sleeping, I'm, I definitely... I don't, I don't know if we should, because I don't want to leave Tooth out there with the door locked. Oh, yeah, Tooth is out there. No, we're not going to lock I think maybe we just have Tooth sleep up against the door okay. with the Rothy. Are you going to do watches overnight? Or just hope that. Yeah, I'll I'll take the very very last watch since I I rest quicker. Okay. Sure, I'll take the first watch. Because I've got sentry, so I'm still yeah. like awake and aware throughout the first six hours okay. anyway. Um, Ben's gonna help you, Sabrin. So uh, ben will stay up with you. Uh, yeah, we do our like four hour thing. Yeah. I'll, I'll I'll read my book some more my my undercommon for babies book okay. and Ben Ben and I usually just stay up and chill and read. All right, uh, give me uh, perception rolls then, please. Sure. With advantage, I'll just let you roll. Okay. Uh, fifteen. Uh. 15. Um, you're going to hear a lot of muffled sounds outside, um, but, uh, so Tooth was going to, you're going to have Tooth stay inside or outside? I don't think, he wouldn't leave the Rothy outside on no. its own. Crex is staying outside. Um, I think he'd, I think he'd probably um, sleep outside with his, yeah. like, back against our door. Yeah. That way if something happened, he could come in or... Okay. We could come out. Okay. And that, uh, I mean, that would be part of the watch, too, would be yeah. checking yeah. on twos. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Prex is staying outside as a watch anyway, so mm -hmm. she can wake Tooth up if anything goes wrong. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She rolled an 18 for her perception. She just heard a bunch of grumbling from the drow, and the workers, not the captain. Um, so she's going to um, mentally tell Tooth. Uh, that there's a bunch of grumbling outside, um, but so far it looks like they're not doing anything about it. It's just more, fuck this, I don't want to be here. This is all their okay. fault. Yeah. But the captain, you can tell, is keeping a tight leash on them. Yeah. But she'll wake Tooth up to let him know, and um, he'll let you know. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll let, uh, Ben and I will let, um, I guess Francisco's taking second watch? If Talos was taking third, is that right? You only really need two watches. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just let Talos and Francisco know that when we swap watches, okay. basically. Then. Yeah, you know that Prex uh, can do every watch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Tooth's friend says that the... Uh, the workers are grumbling and that they don't seem happy with us, as usual, but just keep an eye on it and keep an ear out for it in case they try something. It's not the captain. They seem to be keeping a pretty tight lid, but the longer we're here, the less tight the lid probably gets, to be honest. I well, just if we got, ear out. If, thanks if, for if, we have, if we have to fight, just make sure we don't... Do At it. least we're rested! Oh, well, don't damage too. the boat. Oh, okay, okay. No, I got that. Okay. So you're saying don't set it on fire? Don't set the boat on fire. I can only try. Yeah. We we might be able to 
to to hop along a little bit if we have to. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Do you want me to do a perception check for my? Yes, please. Uh, with advantage because you're gonna have help. Nice. That's my sheet. That's my sheet. Sweet. That's a total of twenty-three. Yeah. Um, you're gonna be able to notice that after the first initial grumbling, um, if you peek out the porthole, that. It looks at the ship. Um, the Deep Rothy is um, just enjoying its uh, boring old time. Um, and the rest of the drow looks like they've... Most of them have gone down for a nap. Uh, looks like it's just the captain. Uh, you'd hear him still walking above you um, for a bit. And just one uh, guard out, one um, drow at point just uh, telling him where to go. They just needed a nap. They're fine now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, the captain, uh, it looks, is staying up all night. Cool, that makes, yep, sense, makes yeah. sense, yeah. Cool. Um, but yeah, the rest of the night goes by without a hitch for you guys. Um, Yay! And come morning, um, we will uh, deal with that next session. Yep. When we level from that fight that was really hard, that Francisco almost died in again. 